Hi, everybody. I'm Nine First Warning. Meteorologist Brandon Spinner. Today is a Nine First Warning weather alert day due to the potential at strong and severe storms. Already seeing some rain across the tri state and some stronger storms towards the south. And this is just the beginning of what is likely to be an active day here in the tri state. Very heavy rainfall coming through with this line of storms as it's pushing through. This is round one. And as we get towards that four and five o'clock time frame, round two begins to open up. This is where we'll have better twist and turn in the atmosphere along with higher energy levels, which could turn those storms severe very quickly and potentially produce very large hail and strong tornadoes. As we go through the evening Tuesday, we'll have to watch for pockets of these storms developing. I'd say between 5 and 1 a.m. So a wide amount of time for these storms to form and develop, and they do have the potential to turn severe quickly. As that wave comes through, we finally shut the door around 1 o'clock, especially east of downtown, and dry out into Wednesday before we have another Another round Wednesday afternoon and evening. Tuesday's severe weather threat includes the entire tri state, an enhanced risk that's threat level three out of five. But really treat this as one of the higher threats because tornadoes and hail will both potentially be strong. Wind and flooding will be possible with this as well. The Storm Prediction Center has highlighted everybody in what we call hatching. That is a greater probability that if tornadoes develop, they could quickly become strong. So that's one thing that you'll want to keep an eye on this afternoon along with hail and wind. When we see storms and forecast storms, we look for ingredients just like you do when you're baking cakes and cookies and brownies. And when you have all the ingredients, it's when storms and severe storms become apparent. Values over 300 on this map. This is what we called helicity that talks about the spin in the atmosphere. Once it gets over 300, it really supports the potential for strong storms and tornadoes as well as large hail. We're looking at that value that is there. The next one we talk about is lift, getting that air to move upward. That's going to be there with the front and other storms. Another is instability. That's the amount of energy in the atmosphere. Anything over 1000 supports severe weather. We're looking at levels and values of three to three point five thousand joules per kilogram of Cape. That's a lot of energy for these storms to feed off of. And of course, the next thing is moisture. Anything over 65 is quite high and we're looking at values already into the upper 60s. So this afternoon could be one that pot uh, potentially brings very strong storms producing hail, wind, and tornado 79 for the high today. If we get even warmer, that'll pose a better threat for storms and into the overnight tonight. They last till about 1 or 2 a.m. 63 for the start to your Wednesday, Wednesday 83, and we'll do it all over again into the afternoon and evening. That threat opening up Wednesday shortly after 3 o'clock, and that could last to midnight as well. From there, we cool down towards the end of the week with the weekend bringing highs into the 60s.